year 1945. The Second World War draws to a close. Ah! Today, the leaders of Britain, the U.S., and the Soviet Union meet in Yalta on the Black Sea to decide who controls what part of Europe. <laughs> The members of this crucial meeting, known as the Yalta Conference, include Soviet Premier Joseph Stalin, American President Franklin Roosevelt, and British Prime Minister Winston Churchill! <laughs> Friends, allies, please, we must resolve the issue before us. Yeah, yeah. Duh! World War II is nearly over, and our side shall be victorious. Now we have to decide how to carve up Europe. Bring in the map! Excuse me! Hi, me! Watch it, coming through! Don't step on my foot! Out of my way! Hey, where'd everyone go? Hello? Eleanor? Uh, uh, I am not your wife, Eleanor! Uh. It's your fault! My fault! Who hired those kids? Well, you tore up the map! No! The map, she is Kabutsky! Now what are we going to do? No problem, gentlemen. I have a backup plan. We can use your lunch to make a map. Huh? What capitalist tricksters? Yo, this bread will represent France. This pickle will be Germany. Here's Italy. And Yugoslavia. What's that? That's Hungary! That makes two of us. Um. Mr. Churchill, you're eating France! Nummy. Whoa. Hey, leave some for the rest of us. <laughs> Mr. Roosevelt, stop eating Yugoslavia! But it's delicious. Now, boys, as the leaders of America, Britain, and the Soviet Union, it's up to you to rebuild Europe and prevent things like World War II from ever happening again. Look at it this way, dudes. The world is like a pizza. Da! And I say we slice many pieces for me! There go Czechoslovakia. Listen, first you gotta divide Germany in four parts. France and each of your countries can rule them to guard against future wars. That's good. And not too much garlic. Then you gotta punish the enemy leaders. Train nasty. Now think of these fruitcakes as the Nazis. Absolutely. Everyone hates fruitcakes. You should put them all on trial for pursuing the war in the first place. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Da! Oh, and of course, I get control of this area here with the cheese and pepperoni. Let's call it Eastern Europe. Why should you get that? Look, the United States is still fighting Japan, right? Well, I'm going to help the Americans win their war. Say this salmon is Japan, these peanuts are my armies, this whipped cream is my navy, and the cherries are my air force. My peanuts will invade the salmon, -ta 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 -ta. my whipped cream will surround it, cacao, and my cherries will bomb it. Boom! You see what I'm getting at? Yep. You made an excellent fish sundae! Radical foodies, dude! No, oh, crazy gypsy boy! I am saying I will help the U.S. beat Japan if he lets me expand into Eastern Europe! Okay, Joe, it's a deal. Help me with the salmon and the pizza's yours. Oh, and I'll take two slices, with pepperoni. Hey, Frankie, come here a minute. What is it, dear? You know that's such a good idea. What if the Soviets set up puppet governments in those Eastern Bloc countries and make them communists? It'll be like an iron curtain falling over Eastern Europe! Winston, do you really think Joe would do something like that? Hmm. Nah. Big mistake! Gentlemen, to finish off our meal, we will call this cake peace. Because nobody likes war, and violence is a terrible, terrible thing. Ah! Excuse me, Joe, but aren't you going to share? Yep! The cake is mine! 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 It is not! Let I go. say release No, it. I want it! Let go, I'm Joe. warning I you! Why you like... Why you... Ah! This means war! Take that, you communist twit! I had it with all of you! Oh, you traitors! You will be purged for this! Come back here! Give me that! What a grouch! And so the Ultra Conference came to a close. And so did World War II, bringing the world one small step closer to peace. Come back here with those delicious countries! I will clobber your bombs!